If you had time to kick a couch two times, not one, but twice, you had time to de-escalate the situation of my melanin black son. Mm, right. My Lord. Now, you're going to have to deal with me. Anger and outrage today from the mother of Amir Locke. Prosecutors announced there will be no criminal charges in the deadly Minneapolis police shooting. Prosecutors decided SWAT officer Mark Hanneman was justified in opening fire during a no-knock search warrant in February. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Amy Hawker. Let's go now to our newsroom, our Paul Bloom live for us. So, Paul, no charges here, but prosecutors also say without that no-knock warrant, Amir Locke is likely alive today. Amy and Kelsey, I have to say that if prosecutors could put no-knock search warrants on trial here, they absolutely would. You could tell a lot of frustration and some serious concerns about the use of those kinds of warrants with prosecutors reviewing the Amir Locke case, urging policymakers here to do something to protect other lives. As for Officer Hanneman, the conclusion, given the totality of the circumstances and what he knew as he entered that downtown apartment, his use of deadly force here justified. It would be unethical for us to file charges in a case in which we know that we will not be able to prevail because the law does not support, support the charges. Attorney General Keith Ellison and Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman with the final call. There will be no jury, no trial, no criminal charges for Minneapolis Police SWAT team member Mark Hanneman for killing Amir Locke during the execution of this no-knock search warrant early in the morning of February 2nd. We're not allowed to evaluate the case from the perspective of the victim. Records show MPD demanded the use of the no-knock warrant to assist St. Paul police with what was then an open murder investigation, concerned about a high-risk entry while looking for potentially armed suspects. Previously released body camera footage capturing SWAT quietly using a key fob to gain entry to the 7th floor Bolero Flats unit where it appeared Locke was sleeping on the couch. The officers announcing their presence and shouting commands as they pressed inside. The encounter lasting just seconds with Locke raising a gun from under a blanket. The 22-year-old was not named in the warrant, nor was he ever considered a suspect in the murder. But prosecutors concluded he pointed the firearm towards Officer Hanneman, who then was legally justified to shoot. I am not disappointed. I am disgusted. Locke's mother absolutely furious about the charging decision, arguing that her son was a lawful gun owner, simply trying to protect himself. You decided that he wasn't worth nothing but less than nine seconds of a human being. And y'all think I'm about to be nice? That's why I'm not from Minnesota, because I'm not. And within her message there, the family's quest for justice on the civil side certainly continues. They also vow to continue their fight for changes related to those no-knock warrants. And one other note, Officer Hanneman has now returned to active duty. In fact, that happened several weeks ago, according to the city. The department telling us today his assignment does not include the SWAT team. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.